In this video, we will learn how to create this effect in Photoshop CS6 Extended using Photoshop Actions. It will be fun, so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone. My name is Adnan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are going to learn about ink spreader effect. So, uh, by selecting this area, when you will play the actions, it will get this amazing result. You can see that it is at the at that time. You will see that it is not so amazing. So look at this amazing effect. It looks great. Color options and like amazing. I, I really like this. And let's just hide this up. You just need to do one thing: is that go to Edit Preset Preset Manager. When you will download your brushes, uh, uh, our file. There will be a ink file, uh, ATN file, and it will be a APR file. So go to load, navigate to that folder, and you will see that there is a Autrius hypnotized brushes. So click on uh, select and load them, and click on done. Then after that, go to Windows Actions, right in Actions, go to this icon, and click on load actions. There will be actions Autrius hypnotized ink in water, and select and load them. So cancel this close this you will see that there is a already loaded so click and drop down just delete the previous one close this for the time being and then create a new layer name this layer as brush the first uh, letter of your uh, word will be brush b will be capital and after all these keywords will be uh, lowercase so like b bigger big alphabet and after that small alphabet brush and uh, I'll create like this selection. It should be a hard brush, so opacity should be 100%. So then go to actions, then click on this hypnotize and click play the actions. And before playing action, go to edit, purge, and all. It will remove your history so your action file work faster. So click on play the action, click on play, and wait for the process to complete your work. Okay, so look at this final output. <laughs> it's really amazing. I like this. Uh, this is not worth it. You can do one more thing is that you go to the top, press Ctrl, Alt, and close this group. And press Ctrl, T. I uh, hit OK. We are talking about smart filters. Click and look at this. It has created a shadow of this so it could look more interesting so this is the final effect i hope you like this the file is given in the description bar but before uh, use this just keep in mind that i am using photoshop cs6 extended uh, let me just show you about photoshop there we have photoshop cs6 extended so try to use it on photoshop cs6 and uh, it will work fine never forget to subscribe and keep in mind never stop and keep learning